Hey guys, welcome back to Trifecta. Today we have three brand new ideas, so let's get started right away. First off, we have hats, more specifically, top hats. You can see that this nice visual hat rotates around when we look around, and when we're walking, it comes along just with us. Now, the teleport command only works 20 times per second, so you can see when we're walking, sometimes it lags a little bit behind. There's a couple different hats here, so let's look at all three. First off is just the black one, which you can see uses wool and a carpet, save for this one. Finally, we have the iron hat, which is also the same design, except it uses iron and trap door to make the hat. Let's take a look at how this works. Each hat is made up of two different invisible armor stands. Here you can see that the carpet is a normal armor stand, and then the main part is a small armor stand, so it's smaller on the carpet. For each part of the hat, there are two different commands being executed. Here we have a fill clock, and you can see that both hat 1 and hat 2 are being teleported to the player constantly. Then we're adjusting their height so it looks like one is slightly above the other. Here we have a custom crafting recipe for saddles, although it's a little different than you might think. The ingredients that you need are leather, a lead, an iron ingot, and some string. However, to complete this recipe, you also need a live pig. Once you find a pig, throw all these items down by it, and you'll get a saddled pig. After that, just kill the pig, and you'll receive a saddle every time. To make this work, we have one dummy objective that's detecting the items on the ground. Each of these has an individual ID 1 through 4. A nested execute command is then being executed at any pig in the world, and once it's successful, it changes the NTD data of the pig to have a saddle. Any saddled pig will then drop the saddle for you to use. Finally, we have a way to switch through your classes for either a custom map or a minigame. All you need to do is get a class selector, and you can put it in your top slots 1 through 9. However, right now I have it set up for 1 through 3. As soon as I place it, you can hear a click, and it changes my armor and equipment. You can see there's tank, archer, and assassin that all have their own custom equipment. Also, each time you change a class, there will be a title command executed. Here I've expanded out the system, so each class has their own fill clock. You can easily compact this down to make it much smaller, and you can also add as many classes as you want, up to as many inventory slots there are. Let's take a closer look at how this works. We're going to start off with one objective called class, which is the dummy objective. We're going to use this to track where the die is in the player's inventory. You need one command block for each place you want to detect in the inventory, so we need one command block for each class you want to set up. Next, we have an objective called Class Life, which is a dummy objective. Whenever the player has at least zero in their class, so whenever they have a class selected, they're going to get Class Life increased by one every single tick. Now we need the objective of Class Life, because we only want to give items to the player right when they switch to the class, not constantly. An example here is the title only getting displayed when their Class Life is zero. Next, you can see how we put the items in the player's inventory using replace item. Here's an example of a piece of armor. Also, the replace item replaces their hotbar, and you can add as many items as you want. Thanks for watching Trifecta number 12. As always, feedback is appreciated in the comment section, and if you really loved it, make sure to like and subscribe. Stay tuned next time for this new creation. And I'll see you next time, everybody.